इंडिया खेलना चाहते हो तो अपने गेम का लेवल ऊंचा करना होगा इस भीड़ से साथ की उम्मीद मत रखना आज कान बंद करके खेलना We're going to talk about your upcoming movie, Maidan. Congratulations. What a, what a unique story. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the film? Well, I will not tell you a little bit about the film. I'll just tell you the process of making this film. We had our own set of challenges which we had to overcome. Like we, you know, first of all, to collect the players, we had to train them. You know, we had to, some actors were trained as players, some players were trained as actors. You know, the the people who are I mean the sports people you see in the film, including the foreigners. We picked up foreigners also in the same manner. Some actors who had to play, and some players who had to act. So this was the first challenge to begin with. Then we had of course the COVID, where we had you know three breaks in between, and while we were going through the COVID, we also had the cyclone which hit our set, and our entire set was washed away. So it's it's been a tough journey and at the same time enjoyable journey because challenges are meant to be overcome and I don't buckle under any kind of pressure. So I have uh, me thanks to my team and my crew I have managed to pull along this project in spite of so many hurdles. Tell me about the popularity of soccer or as Europeans call it football in India. Well, you see, popularity of soccer or football is not at its peak right th- at the moment. In fact, we hope it comes back to peak after seeing this film, after watching this film. You know, soccer at one time was popular, like hockey was very popular in the mm-hmm. pre-partition and soon after partition. Then it was football too in parts of India. It was not never all India popular game. You know, it used to be popular in Bengal, Kerala, Goa, parts of Hyderabad, parts of Rajasthan, parts of, but. Cricket fever just took over after we won the World Cup in '83. It was just cricket. It was madness. Kapil Dev became the hero of the country. He was he was a pinup boy in every youngster's house. Sunil Gavaskar was my favorite and pinup boy in every youngster's house. Every uh, every youngster wanted to become a batsman to play like Gavaskar. And imagine those days he played without a helmet. Everybody wanted to be a fast bowler like Kapil Dev, bowl bouncers and hit the sixes, the kind of sixes he used to hit. And so many other players. Like I loved Azharuddin. I loved Saurav Ganguly. I loved the defense of Rahul Dravid. Of course, Vishwanath's late cut, Ajit Badega's late cut. So I have many heroes in cricket. I've grown up basically with uh, a lot of cricket around me. Football, we played ourselves in childhood. But in childhood, like when I was in childhood, when the cricket fever had enveloped the country. So slowly, slowly, but now from this picture, we understand. मैं ऐसा समझता हूं कि फुटबॉल फीवर कैन कम बैक बिकॉज दिस फिल्म इज एस्पिरेशनल इंस्पिरेशनल एंड इट वुड इन्फ्लुएंस यंगस्टर्स बैक टू फुटबॉल टेल अस अबाउट अम द एक्टर अजय देवगन इन हिज रोल एंड वर्किंग विद हिम अगेन अजय देवगन माय गॉड देयर आर वेरी फ्यू लाइक हिम यू नो एवर सिंस द सिनेमा इज इवॉल्वड इन अ कंट्री ही इज अमंग द बेस्ट दैट वी हैव इन अ कंट्री ही बिकम्स अ पार्ट दैट ही प्लेस He's done varied kind of characters in films and carried them with aplom. He he has been accepted as a gangster in company. He has been accepted as a warrior in Dana Ji. He's accepted as a family man in Drishyam. He's ex- ex- again accepted as a in the horror movie Shaitan. He's accepted as a cop in Singham. So he's done it all. Yeah. And now people will love him in in this role in this part of a coach. मुझे लगा था आज आखिर हिंदुस्तान की बात होगी. लेकिन हम तो अब तक बंगाल और हैदराबाद में अटके हुए हैं। गिवन हिज लाइफ एंड एंड ही ही लुक्स एवरी बिट अ कोच विल विल मेक यू मेक यू यू नो नो कम बैक टू द स्पोर्ट आई मीन ही ही डन अ फैंटास्टिक जॉब एंड टेल अस अबाउट द म्यूजिक वी सो वी हैव एयर रहमान द म्यूजिकल जीनियस वेल एयर रहमान यू कैन नेवर गो रॉन्ग विद हिम द बैकग्राउंड स्कोर इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग द फिल्म द सॉन्ग्स आर एब्सोल्युटली ब्रिलियंट घर आए मेरा मिर्जा team then the anthem in the film team india hai hum then khelo khel you know ranga ranga you know there are songs which will after the film releases will gain more popularity and the background is just outstanding sapne se pehle soch si de pe soch si de pe tiranga so this 
story is based on a true story, correct? Tell us about that. Yes, yes it is. It is about a coach, unfortunately, not written about, not applauded, not... I mean, he never got any accolades while he was living. It, it, you know, his is a hidden history. Somehow, my partners Akash and Joy got to, got to know of it and you know, put a plot together by meeting the family members and all that. And when they came to me, they narrated this plot and I was floored by this plot. And I decided that yeah, this is a story to be told to the world. It's a story for underdog, how he overcomes the difficulties, puts a team together, wins a goal. Finally. And tell us where we can find this film. I know it's releasing on April 10th, right? To a nearest Will Cinema Hall. Where are you from? We are in New York. Well, New York, there'll be plenty of cinema halls playing this film. Don't worry. Okay. And any highlights of the film that you want to share with our audience today? Well, every moment is a highlight in the film. Right, so how long did the, the film take to make? It took about three and a half, four years. As I told you, we had three years of you know, just the sports to be captured. Because of COVID, we had to halt and shoot, shoot and halt. There were, you know, too many gaps in between. Then we had the cyclone, we had to rebuild the entire set was demolished. We had to rebuild the set. So it took its own time and then we had to, the post-production was a lot. It's post-heavy film. You know, we had to recreate that era. We had to recreate the audience. You know, we couldn't get possibly 80,000 people in the stands. So all that was, you know, part of the VFX and it had to be authentic. So that's what took time. My director is a perfectionist and he he has put in a lot of effort to see that everything on screen looks real. And talk about the title of the film, Medan. What does that mean? And why did you use that to be the title of the film? Well, Medan means, uh, Medan means field. It could be a football field. It could be a cricket ground. It could be a hockey ground, whatever. Medan is Medan. Uh, uh, a uh, sort of a piece of land where you can play any kind of sport that you want to play. I love it. I love it. So anything else that we, now that we spoke about the film, what, what else are you working on that you can tell us about? I am working on various films, but we'll talk of it when I when I get to shoot those films. Okay. All right. Okay. I Well, I wanted to just um, say thank you so much for your time. I'm also a very big okay. fan of both of your daughters, Janvi and Kushi, um, of course, as well as Arjun. So, so proud of your family I'm, and wish you I'm, guys continued success. I'm a fan of my son, my, my daughters. I was a fan of my wife. I'm a fan of my brother Anil. I'm a fan of my brother Sanjay. So we are we are a bunch of actors in a family. My family know, the is the only family which has 10 existing. It's, it's so amazing to see the success of the entire Kapoor family over decades and decades. So wish you all continued success. Knock on wood, touch wood, um, to give you guys blessings, especially for our audience members that crave work from your entire family. Thanks so much. Okay, bye-bye. All the best. <laughs>